In this video, you will learn how to change the blade and operate the saw ray. Please refer to the operator's manual before using this product. Before mounting a blade for the first time or changing to a new blade, make sure saw ray is unplugged. Flip saw ray upside down on the handles to access the blade. The saw ray is a time-saving device that can cut off welded on items and leave the surface smooth without the need for grinding. Using the provided Allen wrench, remove all four blade mounting screws. Remove the blade with gloved hands by pulling directly off the hub. Inspect the hub, blade housing, and spring-loaded front guard to ensure all are clean and in good operational condition. Ensure no debris gets into the screw holes when cleaning. With gloved hands, remove the new blade from the shipping sleeve. With countersunk screw holes facing up, place the blade so the center arbor hole and four pins align. The blade should now be flat on the hub with pins protruding through. Replace all four blade mounting screws flush, but not tight. Once flush, tighten the blade mounting screws using the cross torque method to evenly snug the blade flat with the hub. Inspect both magnets to ensure they are clean. Dirty magnets will lower the holding force. We will now move on to the operation of the saw ray. Clean the work area and the magnets to ensure maximum holding force. Have the blade in the up position by turning the height adjusting knob counterclockwise to raise blade off the surface. Center the saw ray with the item to cut off and keep the blade less than a quarter inch away but not touching. Switch on both magnets. Make sure saw ray is plugged into a 120 volt AC grounded receptacle. Do not use any power adapters. Turn saw ray on by pressing the green button on the left wing. Turn height adjustment knob clockwise until blade just skims surface. Do not lower too far or blade may gouge surface that saw ray is attached to. Adjust blade hold down bolts so they are touching blade. These hold the blade down to keep it flush with the surface. Press and hold forward motion button until blade has fully extended or object has been cut through. Maintain a firm grip with one hand on the forward motion button and the other on the front handle of the saw to be in a position in case of kickback.
Once object has been cut through or blade has fully extended, release the forward motion button and blade will automatically retract. Once the blade has retracted, press the green power button to turn the saw off. Switch both magnets off. Check and clean both magnets, as chips from the item that was just cut off may now be stuck to them. There is a safety lock switch that must be depressed for the saw blade motor to activate. This switch is activated only when the magnets are switched on, on a flat, cut surface. Surface is left smooth after cut, eliminating the need for grinding. The saw ray can also be used vertically and overhead. In either case, you must use a fall arrest device connected to the two tie-off points on the saw ray. Please contact us for any further help you may need.